is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the reason behind why I'm doing the marathon stream today, all right? In particular, like I told you guys, I am currently trying to raise uh, funds in order to play WWE champions, uh, excuse me, pay my tax guy so he'll file my federal taxes. Since Twitch very, very unceremoniously kicked me out of the partner program with zero justification, they've never provided a lick of evidence that I did anything wrong to get me kicked out of their partner program. Um, I'm now a full-time stream, full streamer on YouTube, and sadly, it's not as profitable here as it is on Twitch for many different reasons, notably because on Twitch I had 900 plus subs a month, here I have like 200 and change members. Um, so that's a huge loss of income. And then also there were way more cheers coming in over on Twitch constantly. And now over here, there's a lot of super chats, don't get me wrong, and I appreciate them all, but it's less than it was on Twitch. So I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you, moving from Twitch to YouTube, I've lost thousands of dollars of what I used to make. For the same content. It's not that I've changed or anything. It's that, sadly, you move from one platform to another. You're going to lose a certain amount of support. You're going to lose a certain amount of viewership. And that was to be expected, but I had to do it because Twitch treated me so badly. Okay? So for three months now, I've been full-time streaming here on YouTube. Now, at first, things were all right because people really rallied when I was kicked out of that partner program, and they supported me a huge way with tips above and beyond, and it actually got me through about a month and a half uh, of having that decreased income, and it was fine. But then once that dried up, uh, now every month I'm facing a situation where I get one big payment from YouTube around the 21st of the month, and that pays a lot of my stuff, including my taxes, including my health insurance payment, uh, my condo dues, and things like that. But then... Then, right now, this very time of the month, my mortgage is due and my utilities are due. And they're all due the one week before I get paid by YouTube, and by now the money pretty much has dried up. So I'm reliant solely on your crowdfunding support, the tips, to get through this rough time of the month. And this is the second month in a row where I'm really cutting corners and trying to do it, and I, I can't afford it right now. You know, my mortgage is due tomorrow, and I don't have enough to pay it. I'm just being honest, okay? Now, long term, things are going to get better. They are. Things are going to get better. Okay? Why? I'll tell you why. Number one, <clears throat> I have noticed growth. In the last couple of months, there has been growth here on YouTube. My memberships are going up. I will tell you, Super Chats are way up compared to how they were at first. Like, the Super Chats are getting consistent, and that's long-term support that I need, and it's helping out a ton. So thank you to anyone who has been supporting. I know some people cannot tip. I understand that. And those who have been supporting via other methods, it is much appreciated, and it is growing. Okay? <laughs> now, in addition... We are heading into the busiest gaming season of the year. We are about to, to head upon, every week there's going to be a major new release, if not multiple new releases, okay? I'm going to have more games than I know what to do with. I'm not going to be able to play every game coming out, because there's so many coming out, all right? And so because of this, we're going to be very, very busy, and you're going to notice, especially when I'm playing these new releases, that attendance and support will increase. This is just something that naturally happens every single year when we get into the busiest gaming time of the year. All right, people come out in droves to check out the new releases. They want to see me play them, and uh, this will be no exception. I know I'm gonna, I'll probably see a spike of viewership on YouTube as well for the new playthroughs. You know, it's been very slow with viewership when it comes to the on-demand videos. It hasn't been great, just being honest. But once the new releases start to hit, I see spike after spike, and usually it, it definitely works out. Okay, but we have to get there. Okay, we have to get there, and you know that means I have to get through the time that I'm in right now. Okay, so are you the man? Por favor, it's muy importante. Some money! I need money! Very matter-of-factly, the only way that I'm going to be able to pay my mortgage is to do this special marathon event today. Alright, it's just that simple. I can't make my payment with the money I have right now. So, that's why I'm doing this special marathon event today. Alright? The total that you see, the tip's goal of $1,250. Not only if we hit that, not only will I be able to pay my mortgage, but that will also cover the utilities for the coming week. So that means the pressure will be off when it comes to worrying about, oh no, can I afford all the essentials in the next week? 
It'll allow me to stream and not be nervous constantly, and instead just have a good time. You know, the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing a wide variety of playthroughs, including finishing the Medium, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to continue on with Hades, which I really, really liked yesterday. Uh, we're going to do more uh, Last Stop. In the next coming week, there's going to be multiple new releases, including 12 Minutes. Incredible unique game on Game Pass. We're also going to be doing the Ghost of Tsushima expansion, Ghost of Ikushima. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Uh, if not, if we don't hit it, first of all, if we don't hit this goal today, I can't pay the mortgage. So that means tomorrow, when it's due, I can't pay it. Um, and then it's going to be like every day, what can I raise for the coming week? You know, at any point during the next week, can I actually afford to pay it? Or should I just save the money to pay the the, the utilities? Because the utilities at this point are kind of more important. Got to keep the electricity and the water and everything on, right? <laughs> you know? So I guess we're going to see. We're going to see what happens today. Again, I'm going to stay positive and, 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 and feel like we can hit this. Okay, I know we can. Sure. The FBI have to me $20 and they said that they're watching me. It sounds great. I like to be watched. Especially by the FBI. It's amazing. I don't know why you would watch me. <laughs> I certainly have never done anything in my life to ever warrant FBI attention. Poison Carl, this is hilarious, says, How do you ask for $7,800 monthly but still need raise? And still need fund raise? First of all, he can't even speak English. It's all broken English. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, in life, all right, there's things called expenses and bills, all right? I have, a, I have a mortgage, I have a car payment, I have insurance on multiple different things like my home and my car, I have health insurance, I have utilities, I have food costs every week, you know? I have all these things that normal people have, all right? <laughs> when I, like I said, when I was a full-time streamer on Twitch, these things were not an issue because I was making enough on Twitch to afford everything easily. And the problem was that you know, with the years of debt that had piled up, I made s bad decisions in regards to debt and, and curing debt and debt management. And also the fact that my income had gone down multiple times over the years because of trolling activities. And also on top of all that, tax issues screwed me over because I'd been doing my taxes wrong for three years since I moved here. And I was back backloaded on like tens of thousands of dollars of taxes that I was supposed to be paying to the state that I didn't pay because my accountant at the time was doing everything wrong. Okay? I say accountant, accountant is really tax attorney. So all those things, all those things that accumulated over the years, okay, added up to a situation where basically I couldn't uh, afford my stuff anymore and I did declare bankruptcy last year, all right? Now, before bankruptcy, I had credit. If I had a month where things were bad or slow, I guess that is the rep contest site, isn't it? I guess. Um, I could fall back on credit to help me out, all right? That was a long time ago. Now I don't have credit or anything like that anymore. It's all gone. That's how it works is you declare bankruptcy, you're 10 years. You have no credit, you have nothing, okay? So essentially, the only money I have is what I make on stream. That's it. What you see me make on a stream is my income. But you have to understand that there's all these bills and things behind the scenes that I'm constantly paying. There's taxes you don't know about. There's fees. You know, uh, for all the times that you're typing the tip command, it would be nice if you drop a tip there. People who were typing the tip command repeatedly over and over in the chat, it would be nice if, you know, you did it for a reason. I'm just saying. <laughs> that would be very nice. All right. So anyway, getting back to the point of what I'm saying here, okay? First of all, what you see me make is not what I make. What you visibly see me make every single month is not actually what I'm making streaming. What you're seeing is what people are, are attempting to contribute. It doesn't mean I keep all that. It doesn't mean there's not fees involved. It doesn't mean there's not chargebacks involved. I don't publicly talk about that stuff anymore because I feel like it's not something you guys want to hear about constantly. And quite frankly, it's not something that talking a lot about is going to really fix. You know what I'm saying? Like, if someone's charging me back, they're probably going to charge me back no matter what, and they're a bunch of dickheads. So me talking about it constantly is not really going to fix the issue. Now, for a while, it was such a bad thing that I actually had to have all these things in place, verify tips and all that. Luckily, it's not as big of a deal anymore, but essentially what you see is not, there it is, Deadwind Cavern, what you see is not what you get. You know what I'm saying? It's very different. People want to over-exaggerate and everything about the income that I make. I don't make nearly as much as what you see me make on a stream, especially when it comes to Super Chats and stuff. YouTube is taking cuts of all of that, but people are just, oh, you made this and this. No, I didn't make that. You don't know what I made. The truth is no one knows what I made but me. I don't even know what I make until the month after when YouTube actually pays me. I have no idea what I'm going to make, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. So, you say, Phil needs this much a month and blah, blah, blah. Just because you see that doesn't mean that I'm making that, okay? And behind the scenes, like I said, there's all these things. There's taxes and things that happen that reduce what I make. You may think I make a certain amount. I don't. I don't. Look at my lifestyle. Where do you see the, you know what I mean? Like, I, if you really, if I was making tons of money, ridiculous amounts of money, disposable income, don't you think that things would be a little better around here, right? Like, <laughs> I'm wearing clothes that I've owned for like five to ten years, you know? But people are so dumb. They think that every, oh, any dollar that you make is just pure spending money that immediately you can just go out and spend on whatever you want, right? No, that's not adult life. That's just not adult life, all right? It's not. 
And on, on top of all that stuff, okay, there's things in my life that you guys are not going to know about. I'm not going to tell you every single personal aspect of my life. I'm not going to tell you what every dollar needs to be spent on. Right now, I could concretely tell you there's things going on behind the scenes you guys have no idea about. I've never mentioned it. I don't feel like it's anyone's public business to know about it. And it costs me a lot of money. All right? But it's no one's business. Maybe one day I'll reveal that stuff to you. But the fact that so many people take everything that happens to me as a negative and spins it as a way to hurt me, why would I want to reveal more personal stuff to you guys, right? That's why. I have this separation now between my work life and my private life. The less I reveal about what's going on privately, the less people can use it to potentially hurt me. So that's why I don't tell you guys everything anymore, okay? So I hope you understand that, right? Um, if you like the content, support it. If you don't like the content, don't. If you think that I'm some kind of a liar and that I'm actually rolling in dough and I've got it off an offshore account somewhere, if you actually think that I'm stupid fucking enough to spend money on mobile games and all this other dumb shit instead of actually spending it on helping my family and having a better life, if you're that dumb, then don't watch the content and don't support it. Move on, right? Why are you, why are you wasting time with someone who you think is a buffoon or, or, you know, a liar? Why? But if you like the content, then come and chill with me. Where's Kat? She was taking a shower when I was on break. She had just gotten out of the shower. So, that's where she is. I have no idea what else she's doing today. It's up to her. She cooked like crazy yesterday, so today's her day. We'll do whatever she wants. Uh, that douche kid. Cheers is a cat. Okay. She is. She's actually getting much better. Um, finally, her cough is starting to subside. She's still coughing, but it's finally starting to subside. She's been she's been sleeping downstairs recently because she's been choking so much that it's been keeping me up. So she's actually been sleeping downstairs recently. And so it, it's good because I can actually get my sleep. If anything, I would hope that over the years I have portrayed myself and, and been as honest with, my, with you guys as I can, that you guys know that I'm honest with you. You guys know that I'm not making shit up every day and I'm not spitting the truth, that I'm telling you the truth about that. What I need funds for today is to pay my fucking bills over the next couple days. If I can't pay them, they'll all be overdue, late fees associated with stuff, and then I'll be on the track to, you know, bad stuff. You know, it's that simple. It's just, people are just so ridiculous. But there's insane conspiracy theories that I can't possibly counter or answer any of them anymore. Because there's just, every day there's something new that's so ludicrous and over the top. I don't even know what the fuck people are talking about anymore. Right now there's like five things. Every day I look at my Twitter. This ridiculous thing, this ridiculous thing, this thing about a, a viewer of yours, this thing about a moderator of yours, this thing about an application that you supposedly use, this thing about WWE champions which never goes away, this thing about how you're lying to people and embezzling money, and this thing over here about this and that. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck anyone's talking about anymore. I don't pay attention to it. I don't. I literally don't pay attention to it. I just say... I'm going to have fun with games. And if you support that content, do. And if you don't believe me, or you, you, know, you, want, you want every little personal answer, then don't come by and don't support and don't chill, up, chill with me. It's fine. You don't have to. There's tons of other people out there who you can watch. And if that's the case, then go do it. But I'm grateful for everyone who does actually believe that I'm not some kind of crazy, giant, level, scam artist person. Like, you're, you're so crazy, the shit that people say. Do you not think that right now I'd like to do better for my family? Really? Like, I didn't get a honeymoon. When I married my wife over two years ago, I didn't get, I don't get to do things for my family that would be nice. I don't get to improve my house and do things around here that would make life better for us. Right now, we're in the midst of the hottest summer ever in Washington, and I have two air conditioners. I can't even cool the fucking house down enough so that we're not sweating profusely. Don't you think I'd like to be able to do better than that? Put central air in my house so we're not sweating disgustingly every fucking summer? Don't you think, like, don't you think that's like the natural thing that a man would like to do for his family? But you're so dumb. You're seriously so dumb that you believe conspiracy theories, that you'll believe every other negative piece of shit about me, rather than the logical conclusion that Phil's not rich. That he's telling the truth, I just don't know anymore. So I don't, I, an idiot like this guy who's going to fucking do a super chat and accuse me of lying. Oh, you need this much a month. Fuck off. Just go away and never come back. No one cares about you, including me. I just want to enjoy the games, man, and have a good time with my audience. I don't need to put up with your nonsense, your accusatory tone, and your stupid conspiracy theories. Go wear your tinfoil hat with your circle jerking group of losers on the fucking internet and have a good life and leave me the fuck alone. I don't care about you. you know, I can, I'm never going to convince these crazy people that what I'm saying is true because they will always come up with another crazy thing to say. Seriously. Just, it's, it's out of control. <laughs> so I give, I give up. People trying to play as the victim. Yeah, well, that's what it is. They, they do something bad, 
but then they realize, oh shit, maybe we went over the line and we're going to get in trouble for it. Oh, quick, let's try to flip it so that we're innocent. It's called, uh, you know, defense mode, panic mode for people who know that they screwed up. Yes, we did not hit the goal, but this will help tremendously. Like I said, this is enough. This will pay my utilities coming up this week. Uh, and at least put me in a much better position than I was, that's for sure. All right? And things are getting better. I mean, today, membership super chats were great on this, this marathon. They were really genuinely good. So if I can maintain that level of support moving forward, then hopefully I won't have to do marathons like this every month. You know, I'd like to do just regular streams like I do and have to worry so much about this shit, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys? There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. By eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.